From the Applications tab, applicants can be advanced to the shortlisting stage by clicking on the Advanced Applicant to Shortlist icon. OK. Applicants that have been shortlisted will be removed from their applicants group, but they will be shown when listing all applicants. Click on the Shortlisting tab. Applicants reaching the shortlist are referred to as candidates. Applicants that have been advanced from the application phase will already be listed as shortlisted candidates. To add more applicants to the shortlist, click on Add to Shortlist icon. The applicants are listed in order of their initial grading, definite, probable, and possible, and then ranked by combined questionnaire score. Select the applicants to advance to the shortlist stage. Click on Add Selected Applicants. OK. Click on Exit. As defined by the recruiter, advancing applicants to the shortlisting phase can trigger additional requirements that require the candidate to provide further information, for example, to complete more questionnaires or upload documents. If the trigger has been activated, the colored status dot would be orange. In this example the status dot is green, indicating that any requirements have been completed. Other tutorials will provide more details on managing triggered requirements. The rankings of each candidate can be set by clicking on the Set Rankings icon. Save. OK. If rankings are set, candidates will be sorted, first by rankings, and then by their combined questionnaire score. Once on the shortlist, candidates can be removed from the shortlist by clicking on the Remove Application icon. Removed candidates are moved to the Applications X shortlist group. Should you decide to invite a candidate for interview, you can advance them to the interview stage from the shortlist. Click Advance Candidate to Interview Stage icon. OK. The candidate will remain listed in the shortlist. The candidate's progress will be shown by the status icon, which is also shown next to their name. 